Hello, welcome back to the YouTube channel. MFJJ here with PodiumArcher.com. Looking at the new Victory VLR. Now I have to apologize. I just got back into town yesterday evening and didn't realize this video could be out the next day and I hadn't even looked at the arrows yet. So you are getting my authentic first impression because I have not looked at all. I have some statistical information in front of me that may or may not be important to you. The, uh, they come in a 250, 300, 350, or 400 spine. The GPI on the 250 is 10.5, 300 is 9, 350 is 8.2, and 400 is 7.7. What they're going for is a lighter 166 diameter or microfiber, and these are woven. So their, their original VAP was a bit on the light side. This is a woven lighter version than the TKO, to give you an example. These are really aesthetically good looking. They're kind of playing off of the HLR's success and calling it a VLR. Uh, so these arrows are expected to start shipping around December 15th, and we will take pre-orders on these on the website if you're interested. They are available in 1,000 straightness, 3,000 straightness, or 6,000 straightness, and we are going to be charging $269.99 a dozen for shafts for 1,000ths, $244.99 for 3,000ths, and $219.99 for 6,000ths. So without further ado, let's take a look at these things. Now, 9 grains an inch, in order to get an arrow that's going to be at 15% forward to center on a standard configuration, standard build. It's pretty simple. You're gonna need about 150 grains in the front total. I'm gonna to pull these aerials out and then see what component they're coming with now. Uh, Cause I have literally no idea. I mean, they called me about these and told me they were coming out and sent me some, uh, but I was down in Nashville when they got here and I just got back last night. So it looks like they're coming with a 50 grain TL. Now, if you are gonna use an aluminum insert, this is a really good aluminum insert, and it's good in a couple of different reasons. It goes inside the shaft and over the shaft, so it will make it more durable. But remember, aluminum is going to bend. That's the reality. Uh, they do make a steel aluminum version, I want to say, and then a steel steel version, if I remember right, at 75 grains or 100 grains. But you're going to have really high FOC if you get into that. Totally up to you if you want to go that route. We are operating on the assumption of a 300 spine arrow, which is always the arrows that we check because it's the most common seller for us. Uh, my titanium insert systems will fit these arrows and come in similar to that weight, but a 100 grain tip on top of the stock insert is going to give you right at 15% FOC. Uh, total arrow weight, I want to say, is going to be around 410 if I remember right, but let me pause for a second and figure that out. Okay, uh, that total arrow weight will give you about 424 grains, give or take. I'm assuming around 21 grains in the back. It's going to be different for the, uh, everybody. Uh, seven to me, the arrows and the veins and options that I would look at in a three fletch, seven grains an inch is probably an average and I even like to be a little lighter than that if I can get away with it. Uh, very impressive arrow. If you want a 166 arrow, uh, you're going to have a hard time beating it. it. It is not cheap. I will forewarn you there, uh, but you get what you pay for. And I don't know if anybody else has a woven arrow in this weight, which in my world, personally, I want nine grains an inch on a 300 spine arrow or lighter because I would rather have the extra weight in the front. Even if I want to make a heavier arrow, I'm going to try to target a lighter grain per inch shaft in a stiffer spine and put more weight in the front. I think you're making a better projectile when you do that. So you, any, any arrows that are over nine grains an inch, personally, I'm not even going to look at them. They're too heavy in my mind. That's just me. Call me crazy, what have you. But I've seen so many good things happen in that 400 to 450 grain arrow weight range on overall functionality. I just think that stuff's too heavy. That doesn't mean that it doesn't work or that it's wrong. So if you want to use 600 or 700 grain arrows, that's fine. Go for it. Knock yourself out. Just don't shoot them past 30 or 35 yards because it's probably not going to work out very well. And that's the main reason why I don't go heavy. All right, let's see how straight these are. These are 1,000 straightness, $270 a dozen arrows, and they are very pretty. We are using the Paper Tuner Aero spinning device, ceramic bearings, super cool spinner, relatively reasonably priced too, and they have a little sanding tool and a little broadhead alignment thing on these, so really good product. If you need a spinner, it's probably worth looking at. Uh, I've pretty much converted to these completely. All right, here we go. Glass. My Vanna White over here, handing my arrows off to. Glass. Glass. 
perfect. Traditionally, when checking victory zeros, we've had really good luck with consistency. Like, really good luck with consistency. Yeah, just... Mm. And I don't know what it is about a woven carbon arrow, but it just looks cool. I don't, I don't know. All of them out there, they just look cool. Some brands will claim it doesn't do anything. Other brands will claim it does a lot. It's kind of interesting, but I've all got their arguments. I've always liked them, though. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, perfect. So also make a, a relatively good target arrow. I think they actually make it with a different graphic. I could be wrong. Uh, comment down below how much an idiot I am that I'm wrong, but I think they probably put a different graphic on this and use it in their target line as well. But it is, it's a very nice arrow. Still perfectly straight, three to go. Perfectly straight. Mm. She nice. That's 12 for 12. Now we'll weigh them out and see how consistent they are. Uh, we will be doing another video on the Rival as well, or a Rival X or whatever it's called. They, they uh, came out with a six millimeter sized arrow as well. 289.2. Good. Oop. Hold still, Bessie. We have uneven ground here, so it doesn't want to stay put. Damn it. Two eighty-eight point seven. Try that angle again. Maybe that'll hold it. Two eighty-eight point Steve's calling. 289 .4. 289 even. 288.9. Six or seven, sorry, that's a seven. Two eighty nine point five. Two eighty eight point seven. Two Two eighty nine point four. Okay, buddy. All right. So, worst to best. Two eighty eight seven. I think is the lightest. Yeah, a couple of those. And two eighty nine seven. Two eighty nine eight. That one right there. I think is probably the heaviest one. So just over a half a grain plus or minus. <laughs> Traditionally, victories are within that half grain, and there's only one outside of it, and those are like the first runs off of the machine. So that's still a really good number. Uh, like I said, these aren't actually available until December 15th, and it's October at the moment. So once they get rolling in there, I'm sure they'll be even a little tighter than that. And one thing I do always really appreciate about their products, on the package, you might not be aware of this, but they will have the weight listed on it right here. Now on every package, they actually identify the weight. So if you're in a shop and you're buying more, it's right there. Yeah. If you're in a shop and you're buying more and you know what your other previous one was, or take a picture of this and go look through their arrows until you find the same weight. Um, traditionally, they're, they're typically never more than like three or four grains total, but 
you do find them outside of that realm. So something to note, if you want your arrows to weigh exactly the same, as long as you're not shooting them back and forth, it really doesn't matter. But if you're, you know, intermixing two, three dozen arrows together, I'd, uh, I'd look for it if you could. Please do not put in your uh, order, hey, I need this weight. We're not doing that. We can't dig through all those. If you're in there in person and you want to look through them, no problems, but don't put it in your order, please. Uh, like I did say before, we will take pre-orders for these. That is a really impressive arrow. I'm anxious to see how it does in performance and downrange, but super consistent and super straight and weight matched. It's everything we've come to expect from Victory as a company. They make a great product. I've always been happy with them. Comment down below on what you think of these arrows or other arrows, or are there things that we should test and show and visualize that we haven't. I'm always curious to know what we missed because we are humans and we do make mistakes and we do overlook things or are unaware of certain things. And your comments are so great about pointing out our shortcomings. I appreciate those things very much. Please, for the love of God, go to your local Victory dealer and buy these arrows from them. Do not buy them from me. Do not buy them from any other online source. Just go buy them at your pro shop. They need you. You need them. It's a critical relationship that you have to work on. If you're going to buy it online and only if you're going to buy it online, podiumarcher.com for all those archery needs, $99 and up. It's free shipping and coupon code MFJJ will save you a little money. If you're looking for a used bow or have a used bow you want to trade in, it is a program we offer at podiumarcher.com. There will be a drop-down menu for it. It's a whole real simple process, but we are running a national bow trade-in program and selling used bows on there because I couldn't find a really good resource for used bows nationally, so I figured I'd make one. Let me know what you think about that as well. Appreciate you watching. What about their used arrows? Piss off. <laughs>